What have the Hulk and Spider-Man got in common? They both gained their superpowers because of radiation. Well, in films and comics at least. In real life, radiation has never given anyone superpowers. But when used carefully, radiation does have many uses. Which we're going to look at in this video. Remember, the nucleus is found at the centre of all atoms. Some nuclei are unstable and may emit alpha particles, beta particles or neutrons and electromagnetic radiation as gamma rays. Watch this video to understand exactly what these types of radiations are. Gamma radiation can be used in radiotherapy for the treatment of cancer. Gamma radiation is directed at the area of the body affected by cancer. At high doses, radiation kills cancer cells or slows down their growth by damaging their DNA. These dead cancer cells are broken down and removed by the body. Radiotherapy doesn't work straight away. The cancer cells can take up to a few months to die and be removed by the body. Radiotherapy can also be used to destroy other tissues in the body that are not useful. For example, radiotherapy is often used in the treatment of overactive thyroid glands. If the thyroid gland produces too much thyroxine, it can result in heart palpitations, anxiety, tiredness and mood swings, amongst other symptoms. Radiotherapy can be used to destroy some cells of the thyroid gland and thereby reduce the amount of thyroxine that is produced. Beta and gamma radiation can also be used as tracers. Tracers in the body can provide a useful alternative to surgery. A small amount of radioactive material is introduced to the body and a radiographer follows the passage of this material through the body using specialised equipment. Beta and gamma sources are used because they pass out of the body and so can be detected. Remember, alpha radiation can't travel through anything thicker than a sheet of paper. Barium meals or barium enemas are common examples of radiation used in this way. Smoke detectors emit a constant stream of alpha particles. 